Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jeremiah here with a little gem. This is the new series, if you missed the one from last week, where every Friday, I'm going to go over my favorite mobile games, whether that be Android, iPhone, or iPad. And this week, we're going to talk about Super Crate Box. Now, a lot of you guys might already be aware of this game because it came out back in 2010 as a freeware PC game. That's right, you can go play this right now for free. You don't have to download it, you don't have to buy it. But I would highly recommend you actually do buy this game, and here are the reasons why. I'm going to go over the game in general, what the hell this thing even is. So at its core, this game is an arcade shooter, and it's a platformer, but the platforming is really just to dodge enemies and not get yourself killed. It is one life, if you get hit you die, and the whole point of this game is to collect these crates. They are going to randomly drop in random places on the map, and there's not very many places they can be, because as you see the levels are not that large. And as you collect these crates, you're going to get another random weapon. It's a weapon crate. So if I pick this up and I get a machine gun, that means I'll have a machine gun until I pick up the next crate. And some of the weapons are very, very good. And some of them are very hard to use or just straight up bad. And that's the nature of this game. It is all random. And the point is to get as many crates as you possibly can while defending yourself against waves and waves and waves and waves of enemies. And if you check out the bottom of the screen, there's going to be a fire pit there. If they fall in that, if any enemy goes into that, they don't die. They reappear at the top of the screen, turn red, and run really, really fast. So as you go during this game, as you pick up crates, you're going to unlock a bunch of stuff. You're going to unlock new items, new characters, new levels. It's just, the whole thing is very, very addicting. And it's very hard, too. This is not an easy game. You will die over and over and over again. Think of it as, like, Super Meat Boy meets... That game mode in Super Mario Bros. 3. If you guys remember what I'm talking about, that old, that, it kind of looks similar too, the level design is similar. Where you were Super Mario, the POW button was right there, and you had to kill all the enemies and collect the coins. That's sort of what this game reminds me of, but at a much more hardcore level. And speaking of hardcore, if you're looking for a challenge, this game definitely brings it, and brings it hard. The normal mode is pretty difficult. But after you beat the normal mode at a certain amount of points, you're going to unlock SFMT, which makes more enemies spawn at a much faster rate, making things incredibly difficult. And then after you beat that at a certain point score, you're going to unlock Ambush. And it's just, it's just crazy. They keep throwing all these challenges at you, make the game progressively harder, and then it's all about personal records. How far did you get in Ambush? How far did you get in SFMT? How far did you get in normal mode? and they keep all these records for you that you addictingly want to break them all over and over again. They remind you of this all the time. Every single time you die, it's gonna pop up on the screen. Hey, you died, but you know, you were pretty close to unlocking a character. Get like five more crates and you get a new character. Or 20 new crates to get a new weapon. Or a hundred new crates and you might unlock this new game mode. So it's just like, yeah, I gotta unlock everything. Because I'm that type of person. I have a very addicting personality. Where if I sit down with an iPhone game, I'm going to sit there, and even when somebody tries to tell me to stop, for instance, I will sit in the doctor's office and they'll call my name, and I'll go, damn it, I wish they didn't call my name, I want to get a hundred crates. That is what this game is going to do to you. This game is $1.99, two bucks on the iTunes store, and it is not currently on Android. But again, you can play it for free on your PC or your Mac if you go to the website in the description. But like I said in the beginning, it, this is something you're going to want to take with you. And that's mainly because it's just so easy. It's just so simple to pull this out of your pocket and start playing wherever you're playing. And any game in this series. I play all these games when I do things that are boring. <laughs> so that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And go check out Super Crate Box. It is a fantastic little gem of a game. And you see what I did there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys all soon. And of course, take care, everybody.